outfit for the event is it shocking that i am back in this blazer it isn't um you know me by now i am going to run this blazer into the ground i need a backup for this like whoa and my new hair came too um so i got the replacement i reordered it and i felt like they just sent me a hair that wasn't the same quality as this because this is such amazing quality my god vanessa told me about this trick about boiling your wig so i boiled it it will move all the grease and everything it feels a baby soft like it's brand new i'm gonna flat iron it soon i think tomorrow or like friday or something like that but here's the look my friend vanessa actually got me these boots from um good american i think this is the chloe brand from nostrum i started thinking i didn't have anything to wear then i'm just like you know what i can't go with black because black can get dirty in the rain and i don't have to worry about it and then all right guys made it let's go in so it was so great meeting the owners amy and leo husband and wife team I always love it when I like you know I'm in one and like short of company. And now I am going to Macy's. This is the signature print, fitting room print, as you can see over here. And I don't even have it, so I'm gonna see if they can send me that one because I don't have the signature. Um, as probably just to think about them, they have this, all these whimsical prints that you don't see anywhere else on the market. So there's stuff like really cool. I'll show you guys what I got when I get to to the house. But I don't have the classic ones. So I'm gonna ask her for a pair of the of their classics when I get home. Cause I don't think I'm gonna vlog at Macy's. I just need a juicer and get the hell out of there. I may also go to H and M home. At Sephora, I think I just found the brow flick. This is in the medium brown. The lovely lady just helped me pick it out. Which was very nice of her. Oh, this one has the Augustini's Bader over here. And yeah. This is the rich cream. It's great, but I just feel like they don't really give you enough product for what you get. You know. Should I buy pharmacy or should I request from them? I can request from them. Hello. I can request from them. I do want to try out the new NARS foundation though. Should I get it? No. So I am headed to RH to meet with Jade um, for lunch. She just got here yesterday from London. So I'm super excited to gonna like meet up with her. I've been following her for like almost a year now, I think. So it will be fun to actually meet up and you know chat and eat. Um, going to RH. RH is really good. So I'm gonna have the burger. Neglected my event and to hang out with the girls instead. It was so much fun. They headed to Saks and then me. I am headed to the event now. It's like an hour later. But I think we should be good. I don't know. Hopefully it's still good. Jade is such a doll. She's so nice, so lovely. Be sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on Instagram. She is lovely and her friend Josephine um, is here, you know, they're there to celebrate Josephine's birthday. So it was fun. I'm gonna go now. I think I'm one more block and we will be there. Okay, guys, like 
I, I've been back home, like I said, Vanessa's been here just like hanging out, having a good time, drinking all my alcohol. <laughs> she finished my Hennessy, so I had to, she's actually went out to get me a bottle because I'm about to make a French Connection because the French Connection is a really nice drink to have at night time. I was like, thank you for the compliment, but you'll never see me. <laughs> good morning, guys. I have gotten ready for the day. I'm headed to Soho because Sherry wants to go shopping. She wants to have a shopping day. I don't really have any plan on shopping, honestly. Um, I just want to go to a witch. Yeah, maybe I'll just get the bodysuit in the other color. But other than that... Okay, guys, I'm ready. I changed into the little peasant shirt. I really gotta go. Yeah, it's giving a little peasant, you know, uniform. I think I should actually wear a hat. Although I didn't want to, but yeah, because of this rain, I kind of have to. Like I said, this little peasant shirt from Mango, I got it in Vienna. I never worn it. And then today, I feel like it's a perfect time to wear this. I actually kind of like this look. I feel like it's kind of like cool-ish. You know, it's giving a vibe. I mean, a little vibe. I like it. I am in a PJ and I ordered my tripod because I needed a replacement for this one is broken when I shipped it from Mexico City to here I guess it just got tossed around a lot it was a good day you know I love hanging out with Sherry Sherry is one of the people that just gets me you know like we kind of like into the same you know like mindset wise we're like into kind of like the same things and stuff like that it's very easy to have a conversation we just click and things like that so it was so great going shopping, but we just picked the wrong day because the weather was just so terrible. My goodness, I, I couldn't even vlog. We were literally like running to get shelter every two seconds, um, like near a door because it was hailing, snowing, raining all at the same time. But let me show you what I got from today. I got these sunglasses from another story. I actually ordered these. Um, in the tortoise color i saw them on andrea ali i love andrea ali i literally almost buy everything she recommends in terms of her fashion i mean she's a makeup artist but i love her fashion sense you know that parisian you know we love parisian chic um i saw these these are so cool these are like a dupes for the Loewe, and where my style is kind of like going these are just like perfect for that and what i love about these frames i love that the frames are white and then the sides are black and then it has two little gold dots on the side this is so cool um especially since i sold my balenciaga on the white ones to um vanessa so i saw these tiktok is making me buy so much stuff i need to you know stay off the app i need to deactivate my account but i love it so much okay but i found this um gazani vintage coffee mugs from amazon i'm gonna link everything below for you guys so you can check them out this is a set and i love that they're not matchy one is more simpler and the other one has more intricate design as you can see over here look at this like this is so stunning so this is the top one as you can see so pretty and then the other one it's more um kind of like simple actually i have my glasses my water glasses from social study are the same so they kind of match this one and what's so cool about these they come with two little spoons which is perfect um i'm gonna be using these for my coffee in the morning for when i am actually mixing my coffee with the sugar this is going to be so cute for that but i mostly got these glasses for my matcha I do find from experience when i make my matcha in a coffee cup or a regular cup it doesn't taste as good as when you use a bowl like mug like this one so i mostly got this for my matcha because in my matcha i use more milk anyways so this is actually perfect because for my coffee i like drinking espresso so for that one i like using my little coffee cup that i got from um h&m home it's like the cutest thing every day when i drink coffee in there it makes me feel like i'm in europe or in italy or something. and then i got this print from etsy i will link it below this is a simple print that i bought you know it's just like a, a staircase into like a really really long hallway i love that it's like neutral it's like super 
simple and cool it's kind of like it's is that 2d would you call this 2d yeah this is like you know two dimension it kind of like take your eyes out. it makes you feel like you there you actually walk into the alley so i've been wanting this is a 20 by 30 and it was the weirdest size because for the longest time i couldn't find i've had this since january since this prints in january and then i couldn't find something for it so i finally ordered this on amazon but this is like i said to hide the electrical but then again i'll see where else i can put this but it just fits right over there perfectly so that's gonna go there that's the point and then from nespresso i got my favorite which is the nicaragua right now it's just so good la complida refinada refinada let me call my mom back because i think my niece is there the little brat is there abby did you unbox all your gifts for your birthday what did you get abby abigail hey the little brat she was being a little brat but i wanted to show you my dessert i got this we went to san ambrose for lunch my goodness it was the service was wonderful they're like oh welcome home you know thanks for coming like it was really nice i was just like oh my god very attentive like it was so good and then next door they have um the boulot jury and my goodness i ordered this i think it's italian because yeah it's milanese or something like that i think so but yeah this is the print principessa cake it is so good guys this is what it looks like sorry it's pink and then it's like a fluffy thing it's like a lemon or whatever it's so good with the cream inside it just feels so light like i'm not doing anything wrong i deserve it i walked out every day this week all right I deserve it. let me be good mm -hmm. but this cake is a1 my god mm -hmm. <laughs> i got the print together look how amazing this looks it looks so cool um again this is gonna go in that corner over there this is not to go for here it couldn't go here anyways oh it could but it's too big let me show you guys what's gonna go here so this is gonna go over here the only thing is now i have to make sure over there is always clean because i can't afford to have the reflection over there which would be a good thing it would kind of like keep me accountable to stop piling stuff on top of each other so i guess that works and um that's it guys thank you for coming with me i don't think i have anything else to show you and honestly now i have so much work to do i have to go and review tomorrow's video which you should have done earlier just just in case if i need any edits so you could have done earlier so because i don't want to miss another upload on the sunday because i know a lot of you guys were waiting for my video last sunday and i didn't even upload anything on friday so just kind of like i've just kind of like been out of it i need to get back in it um so i have to go and review those videos so i can have one up for you guys and stuff like that so i'm gonna say good night here and then tomorrow is going to be another busy day tomorrow's so busy i have a shoot at 10 another shoot at 11 and then another shoot again then i have to come back home pick up the stuff that i'm shooting for myself actually which i have to pick put together because i don't even know what i'm shooting tomorrow so i'm just like what the hell so i have to figure that out i'll be all right i'll figure it out so i'll catch you guys tomorrow good night all right guys made it to namo soho about to meet my client and then jade is coming to meet me i'm gonna shoot she's only shooting like two looks which is good that means i can just go right back home just in time and then come right back here again to shoot i know hi guys hi. Jade is here. i'm vlogging as yeah. well <laughs> vlogception no we just did the most amazing shoot in like five minutes mm -hmm. crazy crazy i mean crazy. When, when you got it it's just easy no. you know like she made it so easy it's you it's a lot about who's behind the camera be sure to go you know what works <laughs> be sure to go on the instagram and yes, like those photos because it's by half <laughs> and it's gonna be good <laughs> <You know? laughs> Guys, if this uber prices continue like this i'm not leaving my house it's not even funny anymore 
now they're gonna add like a surcharge for gas i'm like uber was already way too expensive the way it was now you're gonna add a surcharge for gas like i called like my train station to walking to my house it's like a 10 minute nine minute 10 minute like they wanted like twenty dollars and i'm just like are you kidding me like you want me to pay twenty dollars from the train station so i just took a cab which was like five dollars um i ended up giving him 10 bucks anyways because i'm an over tipper if it if there's one thing that i do i over tip um everybody is just such a it's such a bad habit or good habit depends on how you look at it but um yeah always overdo it that's why i'm like i can't continue ordering food out like i literally tip everyone ten dollars every time um i you know i typically tip them on the app and then i tip them cash also when they come to drop off my food because i kind of like feel bad i'm just like and then also i don't know it's just like people that bring people that just make my life easier and do a service for me i always kind of like i don't know i overdo it with the tipping I, yeah, I just think they don't have the meatballs. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys in a bit. You guys, guess who's here? Lil Brad, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy eyebrows. <laughs> Making faces. You gonna say hi to the vlog? Hello. Brad. Okay, guys, back in Soho. More and more, I'm realizing that Soho is actually becoming my favorite neighborhood and now I'm just like when I have all the money that I plan to have instead of living in the Upper East Side I think I may just come live here instead because and I think guys that is one thing that I would recommend if you are visiting New York City don't even bother wasting your time just come straight um, Soho is my first look in the middle of the street right here because it's the kind of vibe I'm going for the city vibe and this is the most famous spot for photos right over here right in front of normal Soho your photographer stand here and then you stand like right here in the middle there's something about the street that's just so cool and also even in front of the normal Soho hotel with all the green but today I want city vibes I'm gonna shoot next to Maison, Marcella, and then Wick Orange. Oh, it's the flurries again. Like, this thing needs to stop. I'm just like over this. Like, what is happening? We got it done. Now I'm about to get on the train because Uber prices are just getting outrageous. Listen, and I'm over it. Right? And they told me 11 minutes for the Uber ride. Like, seriously, why is the person accepting the ride to pick me up? If you're gonna be 20 minutes, I might as well just take a bloody walk. You guys, <laughs> shooting by the New York Public Library. I am just changing into this little workout set. As you can see, this is fitting me so right. You can actually see kind of like curves popping through. Look at this. Look at this definition. Acting like, you know, I'm on my fitness journey, which I am actually not acting. So it is true. So this is how I'm going to shoot it. Let's go. Debbie's waiting for me outside. those videos where I do my updated makeup and actually show you guys because you guys have been loving my makeup it's one little trick not one little trick that I've been doing a few little tricks that I've been doing this year I decided that you know what I'm gonna take my makeup to the next level you know before I was going I was just like oh I'm not even a tea person like that like whatever and then as soon as i walked in and sat down it was the most relaxing three hours of my entire life that i've had in such a long time i could say for the you know for like two years now this is one of the most relaxing time that i'm that i've ever had like my goodness so um price print it was about the bill came we, we both have tea and champagne and i think it comes to like 135 or something like that each um i had the casablanca breeze which is the most popular one i see why because honestly it takes you right back to morocco i've been to morocco before marrakesh and it literally reminded me of having lunch at la mamunia 
and then drinking that amazing Metis. I mean, if you didn't know Casablanca was, you know, that movie that was, you know, filmed in Morocco. Maybe here. Alright guys, I'm so happy that he actually came up. I think he probably heard me. Oh yeah, Ellis Brooklyn is um, coming out with something. This is so cool. So this is their new discovery set. I think every brand should have a discovery set because it's good to just buy the discovery set and then you can figure out which fragrance that you like from them. Okay, I really, really love my outfit. I literally pulled it off the last minute. I didn't even know what I was gonna wear today. I was gonna go for like another one of my boring like dresses that I've worn a million times, like every time. My That Zimmerman dress, I absolutely love the Zimmerman dress, but that's exactly what I was gonna wear. But then again, I'm just like, you know what? Today I wanna take it up a notch. And like I said, this is the direction that I am going you know like into and this is the picture that i posted guys i don't think you're ready to see this picture like what like it's giving everything honestly guys. it's giving guys 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 let me pop you oh, i can't pop you everywhere it's so messy jesus but do you even recognize me i don't even recognize myself guys I do not even recognize myself. I was just like, what? Again, when I went there, I had no idea what I was gonna do with my hair. I just wanted, you know, for my hair to be installed. I just got a new hair from Best Lace. You guys always ask questions about my hair. Again, guys, everything you're looking for is probably already on my channel. All you have to do is search my channel, search hair, and then the hair video is gonna come. Please um, search my channel for things. But my goodness, the stylist and I, we, you know, we worked it out and everything like that. I was able to go get my hair done. I got there at eight o'clock. It's eight ten. Who's calling me at this time? Of course it's Vanessa. Of course it's Vanessa. Who else would it be? Who else would it be? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So I'm here just trying to clip on these hair, I mean hair, n nails, because two of them came off. Let me show you my outfit. Again, my house is a mess. I got two packages today, plus I haven't cleaned for the weekend because I was too busy shooting. But yeah, this is the look. Um, again, same thing. The only thing that's different is the Aritzia bodysuit, and I'm wearing the Koss, um leggings today. I feel like everyone's gonna look springish and I'm gonna be the person in black, but then again, New Yorkers are always in black. I could be wrong. But my god, this hair is. She did her thing, guys. She did her thing. I don't know if I wanna share her information because I don't want her to get too booked up for me. Like, baby. Uh, I'm gonna go back to her so she can do the parting for me. I think I'm gonna do middle parting. So I'm gonna wear this hair for like a week. And then I think I want to switch it up. I'm going to wear my lipstick when I get to the event. But yeah, let's go. It is going to be at the 11, ha um, 11 Howard, one of my favorite hotels. Um, let's get out of here. So beautiful. Jenny is here. Just talking to Jenny over here. Got some flowers made, but look at the clothes and everything. I love it. And I am obsessed with these shoes. I need them ASAP. And we just got flowers made over here. to drop it on the ground because people are not gonna recognize me so I need to actually debut my new hair tonight I think I'm gonna do it in the in the fur coat but my god the lovely team at the outlet whoa incredible you see like I t
Guys, this is honestly why I always think that I belong in Europe. Honestly, when I meet like other like again, nothing being American. I absolutely love being an American. I love America so much. But for some reason, when it comes to like talking, I flow so much better with Europeans for some reason. It's just easy. I think it's because of like my sense of humor. Like it's just weird and I love it. Like I was literally talking to a girl from 11, you know, since I got there. And for like almost two hours, we're just like chatting. She's just like so personable. This is people like that that you want for your business. So the Outnet team, incredible like what incredible love it so i can't wait now when i go to london to meet up with rachel have dinner or something like that it will be fun it is much later and i'm making my juices because my fruits are going bad i've got my pineapple here and i'm about to cut my beets i'm about to just fill this jug of a juice so i can drink throughout the week or well, the rest of the week but um, papaya because it's really good for parasites that's one that i'm blending first be sure to include some of the seeds i already have some in the juicer but the seeds is really really good again if you have parasites papaya it's a really really good juice to make for parasite it cleans them out it just make them go crazy I actually have to drink all of this juice. Should not have used all the ginger together. Happy Saturday. Um, today has been a very productive day so far. I had waken up, I think I had wrote, wrote in my diary last night to wake up at eight. I think I did wake up at eight um and then i made my coffee last night i was up until 2 a.m just like you know cleaning sewing the button on the shirt and doing all that stuff i was so upset with that um which is something that i like to talk to you guys about i think this year i want to focus more on investing money on like brand like acne studio jill sanders um really high quality brands especially we have the outlet with the discount it's like there's no reason that this year is about expansion you know we need to you know expand our network and all that stuff so i had no idea about sheila bridges like how ignorant of me how ignorant of me an icon the interior designer icon sheila bridges she lives and works in harlem and she's absolutely like amazing her work is absolutely beautiful and honestly i just learned about her just like two minutes ago and i'm just kind of like sad that i didn't know about her earlier and so sorry guys i got a little bit emotional but this collection got me super emotional let me actually grab the box are you guys ready for um for this sheila bridges home and sheila bridges did a collection when i saw this box i was just like oh my god i love it so Wedgwood and Sheila Bridges, like I said, the Harlem um, interior design and icon. She did a collaboration with um, Wedgwood for Blue Mangdales. It is a limited edition collection. So I think this collection is gonna be one of really, really great collection. Um, like I said, it's limited edition. So you know the upcoming season of Bridgerton is coming out very soon, the second season. Bridgerton was probably my favorite um, show that I watched during quarantine. I watch it about two dozen times, which is a little bit excessive, but I absolutely love it because it just took me into that world that I wanted to kind of like experience. It, it actually made me experience that world through watching the show. So let me tell you a little bit about the collection. So this limited, edition collection we imagine traditional french toile to celebrate a complex and rich history through sheila's harlem toile de joux design on wedgwood's fine bone china 
so it comes in this beautiful blue package right here it says wedgwood england 1759 and then on the side here it says sheila bridges plate as yet which is as yet means plate in french and then this is the number it is made in indonesia and then i've already opened everything so um wait till you see the plate guys wait till you see the plate so i opened it i was just like whoa what is this like guys to see ourselves in a fine bone china like like when i tell you i got so emotional this is the stuff that i've been waiting for that i want you know i want us to be represented in that sense you know that's why paintings i don't really like you know those because the painting that i like typically would not represent it in those so which is why i have a hard time having printing but i'm actually gonna go and buy some more for myself because i just think this is a collection these were a gift sent to me from bloomingdale's it is a available exclusively at bloomingdale's i'm gonna leave a link below so you guys can check it out i hope you can still get your hands on this again um i think if you're raising a daughter a son whatever it is i think this is a lovely example something super cool to have in your house so they can you know eat on a plate or some you know of people that looks like them and this collection is just so special it's 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 beautiful like oh, even the cornwall like everything like what guys definitely go check this out i cannot go to go actually go to the store and see more and i'm gonna buy more of the plates because i am obsessed with this i also have um so they sent me two four matching for the orange and then matching for the green like this is going to be my favorite like wow i don't even want to get rid of the box i want to keep them oh my god like this is just on another level so that's not all as you saw i have another brown bag the big brown bag from bloomies and over here let me show you the top it says the carousel at bloomingdale's present bridgerton Shondaland, and netflix and when you open it this is what it looks like and this is the contents of the box i'm gonna put it down so i can actually show you first thing first we've got this lily saduhi i've always wanted a piece of her hair stuff hair accessories and i've got this one it's the bardo ribbon slim headband i'm not sure if this is my style because i feel like this is a little bit too girly so oh i'm gonna give this to my niece perfect this is too girly for me and i do have a white one that farfetch sent me as a gift i prefer that one because it's like a satin material i can actually wear it out but this is yeah i mean it is bridgerton so i guess it makes sense but this i'm gonna give this to my niece actually because she would get um great use out of this but for me personally this is too girly for abigail and then we've got palette de thé over here earl grey i mean so british you know you can't go wrong with that you know all the brits they love drinking their earl's grey teas and honestly i've kind of like been i wouldn't say obsessed i'm not gonna go that far but i've been really enjoying having some tea to be quite honest especially in the afternoon like when i need to pick me up and i don't necessarily want to have coffee british tea love that i also got some wild honey uh, from right uh, from zach and zoe next thing we've got some we've got some lord john's um cbd lip balm i mean it is a lip balm fits for a lord look at this the packaging is just so classy and then bridgerton bridgerton i even got one of those stamps to stamp my letters i know because i wanted that like old school vibe that cool thing so this is some high society soap and when you open it it says all your dirty secrets come clean and then in each soap it's wrapped in the newspaper from the show so this is number one today's the day society paper today's the day and then we've got introducing the new duke and duchess of hastings the entanglement of heartstrings that was probably one of my favorite episode i know rated r but okay the tarnish of the fame um, of the Thames. Um, 
and this smells absolutely i love goat milks that is one thing that i do when i travel when i travel i like to buy a lot of local soaps i do find those local soaps are just so good i absolutely love natural soap um, because it's just so good for your skin and goat milk that's going to be so moisturizing and so cool if you know so, yeah. the brand then you already know where this is coming from this is the bogari print from print fresh if you didn't know print fresh they came out at the beginning of the pandemic um they launched which was perfect because that's when people were staying home in their pajamas all day long so that's when she launched her company but she's been in textile design before that she used to work for urban outfitters and all that good stuff and then she decided to launch her own brand and then it took off but what's cool about print fresh you know her background like i said is in textile design is because her print you don't see anything like this on the market honestly i think a lot of brands actually started copying their design i ah, absolutely love it and i love this bag so much i actually this is a signature print of the brand so if you're gonna go for a print in the pajamas be sure to go for this one so i picked out two things the first thing first is this beautiful one when i saw the strap robe i was intrigued because print fresh is known for their prints that's why it's called print fresh and when i saw the stripe i was just like huh this is giving all the vintage vibes kind of like lollipopy name it as soon as i saw it i was just like oh my god this is the coolest book and this is going to be perfect for the summertime especially lately i don't know what's been happening but i've been been messing up my robe a lot when i do my makeup i don't know why and i wanted something that wasn't white for when i'm doing my makeup not to say that i'm going to be doing my makeup with this but i'll feel more comfortable um in this doing my makeup and i love it it's just so so beautiful and then i also got another set and the cool thing about print fresh the pajamas comes with pockets which is probably my favorite thing for the long sets but i had to go for this one it's a mermaid one it's just so cool and then also this is um, short sleeve as well again this is going to be perfect for summer my size is a small i'm going to love this i cannot wait for my couch to get here honestly just so i can create some content in these they also gifted me a sleeping mask which i absolutely need because um i don't sleep with my sleeping mask because if i sleep with my sleeping mask i won't wake up because the blackout just make me feel like i'm in another world i just want to sleep until the end of time it's perfect for me for my meditation and sometimes if i'm taking a nap during the day this is something that would help me with that and then we've got this little um hair tie over here as you can see so yes if you're in the city do stop by and then i also have the little matching bag this is actually going to be cool when i'm traveling to put my sleeping mask in there or my hair ties and also my lavender oil and all that stuff this is going to be perfect little bag for me for that okay guys i'm not sure if i showed this already but if i did this regard but i went to the yummy extensions event i'm sure some of you are familiar with yummy extensions uh, vanessa simmons is the um, face for yummies i got to meet the owner she's absolutely brilliant amazing fascinating we got a chance to chat a little bit it was such a funny event it was just like so good being you know in such great company and the event was held at this beautiful um italian restaurant in the west village which i don't remember the name but i actually bookmarked it because i cannot wait to go back the food was so incredible could not and the staff was just outstanding so um i was left with a goodie bag and the goodie bag was this cosa professionals um hot tools it's like a flat iron and they demonstrated it and i was just like oh my goodness i need to use this asap it has floating plates which is supposed to be really nice on your hair and also the heating system is actually pretty cool um it's supposed to be very helpful when you're doing like curls this is something that i want to get good at and I also got two bundles from yummy extensions which i actually cannot wait to use i think i'm gonna get now i think as soon as i open them the hair looks so good my goodness so i'm gonna put that i'm gonna order some more i actually have to lift the card out so i know which one to order because i want to order within the same hair family but that's it from yummy extension again it was such a cool event i was so so grateful to be invited it was Next so nice is the Malogica. they just launched their circular hydration serum which is so cool i love the packaging i love this little circular thing 
I mean, it's called circular for a reason. So this is supposed to be like super hydrating. So <clears throat> I love that because my skin can be dry. When you take it out, this is what it looks like. You guys know the Monogica is one of my favorite brand and I've been dying to use this. Is it a serum or a moisturizer? I am not too sure. But yeah, I cannot wait to start using that. And I love this packaging actually, because it's not gray like the other one. I don't know, maybe I haven't paid attention. Maybe the gray is for like a certain line and then the blue is for like something else. Blue, is that for hydration? I'm not sure. But next stop, let's see. But I received this months ago, but I never got a chance to actually show you guys. This is 52 days of style daily starting cards um i had a code actually it's my name rose if you want to take 10 percent off it comes in a box like this it says hello gorgeous well hello there um so we got the deck of card as you can see over here it's supposed to make your outfit easier in uh, the morning instruction this deck of cards will help you style your daily outfit so that getting dressed in the morning is easy fun and exciting i think this could be fun um you know the first one it's saying complete today's look with a blazer to add instant polish to your day of course a blazer is just that a blazer is that b like she can take any outfit from basic to you know va va boom amazing don't forget to accessorize today's outfit that little extra effort will help you feel more polished love it so like i said if you i mean we all have this moment sometime when we wake up in the morning we do not know what to wear like yes it happened to the best of us so this is like a cool idea actually i think so like i said if you're interested in this just use my code to take 10 percent off today so next thing we've got from look optic um or some glasses you guys know with us being on a computer it's like literally all day long especially with working from home you know it's even more now and then also just technology in general over the last few years have just taken a hold on our lives we spend so much time behind the computer um, especially at night time so these are the laurel blue light blocking glasses these are so cool for me to just like work in the house um to just kind of like pop these on i really really love the shape i think like i said i think they're super chic and elegant and i love that they like this cool white or clear color and then these are the sun readers you know to read things in the sun oh my goodness i can see that uh wow the way this in the hands oh <gasps> these are like reading glasses but for the sun oh my god these are so cool this is super cool these are the stella sun readers i'm gonna link them below if you guys are interested but yeah absolutely necessary that you get some blue light blocking glasses they are great and then look at this cool little pouch that it comes in well this one comes in this pouch and then the sun readers come in a silky one which makes sense for your bag and stuff like that but yeah feel not the print do not feel the print because you will be able to read it if you've got some look optic glasses on so let me see if i want to show you guys one more thing and then that will be the end of this pr unboxing